times a black woman is expected, expected, expected to always be strong. It's like this person is going through this, oh no, but you're a black woman, you're all right. I, I, no, I'm not, bro. No. Make sure your children are okay, your husband yeah. is okay, your mom is fine, people back home are fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how much can you carry the motivation to succeed against all odds? Like, you just have to succeed with little that you have. Welcome back to the Mona for Mamas. If you're new, welcome. Like, subscribe, and share. And if you're joining us again, I hope you enjoy today's content. So today we're going to be talking about the superwoman syndrome, the I have to be able to do everything syndrome that most mothers, non-mothers, just most grown women tend to have. Sarah, take us away with this. What do you think and feel about it? Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that's a big one. And probably we're just going to talk about ourselves, you know, black okay. women, right? Uh, you know, what comes to my mind first is the obligation to present an image of strength. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter what you're going through. You act like, you know, you're strong. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think about that? Think it's what we're taught, though, right? It's what you see. As a kid, you go home, you see grandma. I mean, for me, grandma was not white number one. I mean, on the one side, okay? So this grandma with all these kids and all these grandkids. But I don't think I've ever seen her falter. Like, even the times when you know, you know she's broke. Like, akuna sugari, akuna this. But you will never, ever, you will never see it on her face. She's always happy. She's always praising God. She's always grateful. But she must have been going through a lot. I mean, like I said, I don't even want my man looking at the next girl. I don't know how I feel about him having another wife. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's embracing the emotions, even when you are breaking inside. Right? Yes. Have you ever gone through a situation where you're breaking, you know, you are having such a, 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 hard, a hard time, but yeah. you don't want to let other people in. You don't want yes. them to know that, you know, you're going through a difficult situation. I have definitely. You know what I mean? That. Yes. For those who haven't watched our previous videos, please go watch it about dating and diaspora. Um, but for me, um, why I bring that up is because I've been, I've gone through a divorce and yeah. I've gone through a divorce alone. And by alone, I mean being in diaspora and majority of my family being back home. So that was a hard time for me because as I mentioned before, it's not necessarily wanting that person back because I think when you reach a certain break, you've reached that break. It is what it is. Yeah. But it's just yeah, yeah. not having the emotional support and then being too scared to reach out. Because again, if you reach out back home, people are so far removed. Okay. And they're giving you advice. I always say this, man. I love our aunts, our uncles, our parents, our family, our friends. But people can only give you advice based on what they've gone through. And personally, not, none of my family members have gone through divorce. So just how much advice can you give I me? Right. You know, right. I find myself having to be strong and not just for me, because one thing we don't realize men are just as emotional, if not more than us. So I'm finding myself strong for me, the woman going through the divorce, strong for him, strong for his family, because they become your family too. strong for my family, because then, you know, these are all the people that were invo they emotionally invested in it. So, yeah. In short, yes, I like, I've been there. <laughs> I, I like, no, no, I, I, I like, I like what you said, because for me also, it's, you know, when, when my daughter got sick, you know, yeah. it was a tough time for me and yeah. for us and for yeah. my husband. But I felt like, you know, I needed to be strong for my children and yeah. for my husband too, mm -hmm. you know? So the way you say that you had, you needed to be strong for your husband, it happened to me too. So I agree with you. That's why I was just nodding because it is true. You are just hitting those points. Like this is, this is real stuff. This yep. is true. So like you said, we focus yeah. on the black woman too, or just because we're black primarily, uh, you've been yeah. raised by and around black women and not saying that all these other women are, they're not strong and not putting up this. Oh, no. I just feel it's, uh, yeah. it's easier for us to come from what we've experienced. Um, I do feel that a lot of times a black woman is expected, expected, expected to always be strong. It's like this person is going through this, oh no, but you're a black woman, you're all right. I, I, no, I'm not, bro. No, I'm not, sis. I am just as broken as any other woman. And that's something that we need to learn to be able to fall into. When you're broken, seek help. You know, yeah, it's yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is okay to seek help. It is okay to seek help. And yeah. one, one, uh, one other thing that I think of is putting others first. Mm -hmm. yourself. You know what I mean? You want to, it's, it's like a network of stress. Like if somebody is going through something, you take all that in, right? Mm -hmm. Or you don't, you don't care too much about yourself. You just want to make sure your children are okay. Your husband yeah. is okay. Your mom is fine. People back home are fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how much can you carry? Yeah. How much can you carry? We do that you know? a lot. And then, and, and then, you know, 
let let's be a brilliant woman with with a great job and now you're a supervisor in a supervisory position at work you're also taking on them because as much as as these titles are, are nice oh you're the manager of this you're the supervisor of this, it can it comes with a lot of things you're not just supervising the people you you take on their problems too right. it's okay yeah. it's okay to be in touch with your feelings and then realize where you need the help because i i think at some point everybody needs some type of help little by little yeah, and this, this idea of feeling that you have to, the motivation to succeed against all odds, like you just have to succeed with little that you have. Like you've got to have, I think that's why we take up, we take up like two, three jobs. You just want to work and work because you have so much that you need. Yeah. Don't you think? And I love what you said, against all odds. That is, that's what's been put in us. Cindy, even as kids, right? You have to pass KCPE if you're going to go into a school that makes sense. Because you're told, essentially, the, the high school you go to determines if you make it in life, right? Because yes. the high school you go yes. to determine even what kind of grades you get. I used to be told um, you're marked up or down depending on what school you went to, right? So that if you went to Kenya High versus those of us went to Madeira, once they see yeah, your yeah. paperwork, right? They already assume it's a smart child's paper they're, they're marking, which a lot of times it is. But then once in a while, there is, there is those of us who are kind of smart and in that degree, right? You true. know? <laughs> so it's it's that true. pressure, that pressure. And then you're always being told, I remember being told, you know, growing up in the era where there was this assumption that boys were better at this and boys were better at that. So you're always working hard at math. You're working hard at science. You got to do this. You got to hit that. You got to get that mark. You got to make it to college. Right? So right from, from and, and I'm not saying boys, your mom didn't tell you the same. I can only speak for <laughs> I think there's a culture that we keep passing and we pass it on and we pass it on and we pass it on. And I'm just saying it's okay to break down sometimes. Yes, to break down. And not it's break not down. A a bridge, it's not a weakness. It's okay. Right. It's okay to say, you know what? I need a mommy day. I need a me day by myself. I need to breathe. I need to think. I do. I put my thoughts I do her. that. I, 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 that's something that, that is something I do. Yeah. Like, I don't want anything. I don't want yeah. noise. I want my husband to go with the kids somewhere, just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, you're going to go crazy. You're going to lose your mind. Yeah. You're not going to lose your mind. You're going to get angry. And what has, what's going to happen to the children? You you transfer all that anger to them or to your yeah. husband or to you. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Yeah. So we need to really take care of ourselves. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. And I wasn't and, really thinking about it, but my husband, yeah. is on, the other day he told me, just take a glass of wine and go, go sit somewhere. And I'm like, but the baby, he said, you need a break. And I was like, what is he saying that I'm not? Because I'm like, I'm okay. He saw something. But like, yeah. he told me, yeah. go, get someone with a glass of wine, I got this. I like that. I like that. That is good to have in a partnership, all right? Yeah. Because can you imagine if you're all by yourself? Oh, not mm -hmm. just by yourself. Mm -hmm. Or not just, but, but with somebody who is not Understanding. sensitive. Who yeah. is not sensitive. Yeah. You know, you're going to lose your mind. Yeah. And how much shout out to all the single mothers and fathers yeah. out here. You yeah. guys. Strong. Yes. Strong. Seek help where needed. Get some peace of mind for you because it then transfers to your family. Whether it's your kids, if you don't have kids, I'm telling you, it can go to your pets. I know that when I first um left my marriage and moved over by myself and I was just getting my life together, you know, starting life over. Now come it's the little things for a woman. I, I don't know about you, eh? Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's those little things when I'd walk and find sales and pick these cute plates I want and cute, and then having to start all over and you left all that. Yes. Shit. Yes. Yes. I really love yes. those glasses, you know. And I think there's a time I was depressed and I didn't realize it, but my dog, I'm telling you, my dog would just come lay at my feet. Because I used to, after work, I, I work, I hustle, I do what I gotta do, but the weekends I would just stay home. I wouldn't pick up calls from my friends and nothing. But my dog would just lay there. And I'm like, what is wrong with this dog? I kept thinking to myself, he's not jumping around. No, he's not you. And no. I realized he picked my energy. Wait, wait until your baby grows and becomes big. The kids notice too. You yeah. know, when I'm going through a tough time, my kids come to me, mommy, are you okay? Oh. You know, why are you? Yes, they notice. Just like, yeah, the same thing you're describing. Yeah. Wait until your son grows up, you'll see, you know. And there's something with the boys. Something with the boys and their mom. Yeah, no, really. Like, my daughter will be the last. My daughter will be the last one to tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> They're just extra. Dad, she will. She will be quick to notice, Daddy. Ah, uh, no, I believe you because I am a daddy's girl. Now, when Baba Bang, if you walk this door right now, I regress. I have to catch myself. I literally become a kid again. Sure, I think you're right because I think even growing up. If if uh if once in a while you know our parents are behind closed doors you never know but I'll be quicker to notice yeah. my dad's shift 
than my mom's. And either one, yeah. she was also a superwoman trying to not show anything and maybe dad wasn't as much. Okay? You it could also be just as a girl, you're more drawn to your dad. Whichever way, you know, it could either or, or both. It is, you know, it is, it's really, because even, not just that, even in marriage, I mean, not, you're not going to have good days all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And I find I find myself, you know, when we are going through a situation, my husband and I, not just, I'm not arguing, but a hardship, like whatever hardship we are going through, I find myself wanting him to be in a good place. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. I want, I want to give him the, the, his favorite meal, ugali, waluya, ugale, you know? <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure he's fine, you yeah. know, because then, I guess it's because it's going to set the tone, I guess, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In the family dynamic, so if it's not good, then I feel like everybody else is not going to be good. You know what I mean? No, you're right. I don't think I about myself. That. Yeah, you're right. I've seen that. I've seen that with myself subconsciously when he's going through something. I could be going through something, but I keep wondering about it. How are you doing now? Are you okay? Can we do this? And I'm like, but sis, you got this going on. But it, it's always, it does run in that direction. In one aspect, I love being that empathetic, but I do say yes. that I'm learning that at some point I need to also pull back yeah. and just to receive Velma to first. Receive. Yeah. yeah. Because if you just give, 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 then you're gonna be left with nothing to give. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when the kid or the the people who need who depend on you every day, your children, your husband, you know, if you're not able to give them anything, then what's gonna happen to them? You know what I mean? So. Yeah. 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 One problem that I feel I know I personally have and I think a lot of our people have is you're too scared to get aid. Right? We paid all these taxes to this damn government. Now it's time to it's time to collect. You're sitting at home, you have no job, you know, you, you need to apply for WIC, apply for food stamps, apply for this and that. But people have such a stigma associated with it that you'll sit home and starve rather than just go get the aid, people. It's not just a yeah, or whoever. If you need no. it, it's yeah. your right. Go and get yeah. it with your family. Okay, but forget those see, What happens? There. So you're going to be scared and then what? And then you starve? You're going to be scared, you're going to be embarrassed and then what? Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. do and what you need to do. Friends are gonna shame you for doing what you need to do to survive. They I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Those are not no your friends. No shame in it. No shame in surviving. No shame no. in doing what you gotta do. And no shame in collecting what is owed to you. It is owed to you. Look at your pay stubs. We put this money in when you need it. Collect, honey. Collect. If you that's need a it, blessing it. because that's something you don't you don't have back home. Back yeah. Home when you lose your job, you lose your job. Nobody yes. cares. Yes, and so, so when you're here, right you're in Nairobi, yeah. they can't even go shags and get, you know, at least shags, the cost of living is a little lower. But the people who are stuck, yes. you don't have a job, you can't pay rent, you can't travel out. I mean, thank God for the opportunities you have, use them to the max, okay? Don't be scared yes. to say no. As a mommy, as an yes. and mommy, I don't necessarily yeah. mean with children, even just as, a, as a wife, as a woman, you know, don't be afraid to say no. It, it's That's important. a big one. Yeah. That's a big and word. then therapy, right? I know you're an advocate for therapy, which yes. I truly believe in. It's not a sign of weakness. Yeah, go ahead. It's not a sign of weakness. No, no, no. Go for it. Go yeah. for it. And 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 don't don't be scared about what people will think. Get the help you need to live your best life possible at all times. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, the best therapy of all, if you've got a partner at home, honey, is sex. Get on exercise. I'm hundred percent. Hundred percent. And we hope you enjoyed today's topic. Yeah. Give us a comment, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time on the Morning Afro Mama. Yes. Bye. Bye bye.